Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 fragrances from my collection from a variety of different price points that I think are fantastic fragrances for fall. So let's go! Whenever I do these videos, I really like to make sure that I'm choosing from my collection, choosing from fragrances I have at least an extensive amount of time sampling and wearing, and I've also really liked enjoyed bringing you guys a variety of different price points. We have really ultra affordable fragrances and more luxury price fragrances. So that way you can come to this video and if you're looking to spend a lot of money or you're on a budget, there's something for everybody. So let's get into the list. The first one I'm going to talk about is a fantastic fragrance from Floralinda Perfumes. You've probably heard about me talking about them before. They do the Orange Blossom fragrance. I absolutely love it. And they just recently came out with Apple Blossom. Now this is under $10. I think this is like $6.50 for this size. So it's really affordable. But this is a beautifully authentic apple fragrance. It smells like you're taking a bite of a big juicy red apple in the middle of an orchard in fall. There's a little bit of greenness. It's very damp. It's very moist and crisp and you've got the sweetness of the apple. I love this scent so so much. Overall it's such a beautiful scent you guys. If you like apple scents and you want something that's really genuine and very quaint and pretty and you don't want to spend a lot of money, definitely check out Floralinda. Another scent that I love, and actually this is the only fragrance that my husband I think has ever worn, aside from another one from this brand, is Mulled Cider from Demeter. Now this scent smells like my house in fall. I mull gallons of cider. In fact, my husband and I just invented in a corny keg and CO2 tank to start making artisan sodas. And we are really excited to try making mulled cider soda again. We made it in the past, it was really delicious. And this just smells like my house in fall. And fall is the only time that my house does not smell like cats. I have eight cats. My house smells like cats. So it's really nice when your house smells delicious. And I just love fall because I love mulled cider. I love the smell of mulled cider. And this is just such a beautiful scent to wear. Just overall, it's really attractive. And I love it. And it's really affordable too. And this big size is $40, and I know that you can get a smaller size, I believe an ounce for like 20 so it's really super duper affordable. Another affordable fragrance that I think is perfect for fall is from Perry Ellis, and it's the Oud Vetiver Royale Absolute. I just reviewed this. This scent is amazing. I love it, especially if you are a huge Vetiver fan, which I am. This is a great scent. This smells to me like a forest in the fall, a cool, mysterious, beautiful woodsy forest. I like the fact that there's vetiver in here, which really plays with the oud, but the slight touch of juniper in here really sets this apart and makes this very magical. It's also a very affordable scent, and I think it works really well on men and women. But I just like the fact that this smells like a cool fall, kind of slightly cold, mysterious forest. And I think that the oud in here definitely doesn't play second fiddle, but it's not so overpowering that it kind of ruins or throws out of balance the other notes in this fragrance. And you're looking at spending under 40 bucks for this, so it's a fantastic deal. Now this next one is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, celebrity scent. And I think fall is the perfect time to wear this, although you can wear it year-round. And it's Stash from Sarah Jessica Parker. This is such a gorgeous scent. It's nutty, it's woody, it's just got a lot of different things going for it. And it's just really very attractive. This is a scent that doesn't smell like other celebrity scents. And I don't mean that in a good way or a bad way. I think celebrity scents are their own unique completely different community of scents and all of their fragrances are very distinctive even when they're different. I think that there is a beauty and an artistry to those scents. This does not smell like it belongs in the designer and the celebrity fragrance community. It smells like it belongs in the niche community. It's definitely a little bit more avant-garde and conceptual and it's really beauty, a beautiful and wearable and perfect for fall. I love it. There's a reason why a lot of us are just singing its praises because whether or not it's like a $100 bottle or a $20 bottle or a $500 bottle, fragrance lovers enjoy fragrances that smell good. And this fragrance just smells good. This is a designer fragrance that you could find an amazing deal on and not many people talk about this scent and I don't know why because it's out 
freaking standing and it's from Balmain and it's ambergris. This scent is soft and sensual and intoxicating and warm and sweet and just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a fantastic scent that can be dressed up or dressed down for fall evenings or casual days. It's just a gorgeous scent to invest in and you can find this so super cheap that it's really not much of an investment. But this is one of the fragrances out there that even if you were going to spend the money on it full price, I still think it's worth it. I do have a review of this and I have reviewed, if I have reviews of any of these fragrances, I will link them below. But definitely check out this fragrance if you're looking for a warm, sweet, sensual, slightly woodsy scent. Slightly powdery, just really delicious, and I love it. I think apple is another scent that works really well in the fall, and it's probably one of the notes in this entire video that you see a little bit more frequently. And this other scent plays with apple so smartly and creatively, and it's from Imaginary Authors and it's Slow Explosions. You've got saffron, leather, rose, and apple. It's a very crisp apple, but the scent is a little bit soft, and leather and it's just beautiful. The leather is kind of more velvety suede and the apple gives it a little bit of crispness, crispness and sweetness that works really well with the rose and the saffron and everything else that's going on the scent. This is a beautiful daytime fragrance and one of the most popular fragrance from imaginary authors and it's really easy to see why once you smell this it's gorgeous. Now some scents I think work really well in the daytime, some scents I think work really well in the evening. Most of these scents I think are really good for daytime or evening, maybe minus the first one I talked about and this one, but you can still easily wear whatever you want whenever you want. But for a daytime scent, I wanted to choose something that was really beautiful, unique, and wearable that just really shined in the fall. And it's from Le Labo and it's Te Noir 29. Now this is a beautiful black tea fragrance and there's a lot of amazing things going on in this scent. It's warm, it's sweet, but there's a crispness to it as well. It's a ridiculously gorgeous scent and this is one of the most beautiful tea scents I have smelled and it works so ridiculously well in slightly cool fall daytime wear. That's when I bought this scent. It was just the perfect thing to wear when I purchased this and I still really only like to wear this in the daytime although it does work really well in the evening but I think for cool fall um, afternoons and mornings you cannot go wrong with this that's when this fragrance will really shine this is a fragrance from mason lancome i know i pretty much talk about them in just about every top video because i just love them so much and this particular fragrance i really think works beautifully in the fall specifically in evenings but also works really well in the daytime and it's tuberose Constain, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is like a gourmand tuberose note. It's really quite delicious. It's got a little bit of nuttiness in there. It smells like a dessert, but that white floral is just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's syrupy and velvety, but there's a lightness to this that just makes it absolutely magic. I haven't reviewed this fragrance yet. I will be reviewing this very soon. I really love it. And I most definitely recommend this scent so, so much. Two more to go. This one is another fantastic daytime scent. It's a lavender dominant scent, but there's just something about it that I really like wearing in colder weather. And it's from House of Matriarch and it's a Madrona. This is a very aromatic, herbaceous, um, strong lavender scent but in a really positive way like sometimes lavender that's too strong can come off a little bit medicinal kind of like your run-of-the-mill standard like lavender essential oils or candles or soaps but there's something about this that is so authentic that I love kind of like how I really enjoy Te Noir in the daytime. I think that there's a beauty to this that just kind of reminds you of being in an open field on a cool afternoon with just like the wind and the sun and the cool crisp air. Really gorgeous and I love it. But this also would work really well for casual evenings too. 
So you guys know I am a huge lover of House of Matriarch and Natural Perfumery. Obviously, Natural Perfumery isn't for anyone, but if you do love lavender scents, definitely check this out. It is a beauty. Last but not least, again, on the higher-end luxury side, like the last few I talked about, is from Guerlain, and it's Gourmand Coquine. This scent just screams fall. This screams beautiful parties and sensual desserts and feasts and just dancing and just magic and mystery and it's just so freaking gorgeous you guys this is so good the chocolate in this is amazing with that beautiful rose and the spices it's just perfect so if you're looking to splurge on a beautiful scent for fall and you like chocolate scents and you're looking for something mysterious and sexy and luscious and delectable I cannot recommend this one enough. It is outstanding. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you like my picks. I'd love to know if any of these fragrances are things that you own and are excited to wear for fall, or if you guys have other recommendations from any price point that you think would make a fantastic fall fragrance, let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you guys like videos like this, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free. And I put it in videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.